My name is Yogesh Patel, and I'm an electrical engineering graduate student at Northeastern University. Hi, I'm Tatiana Chernenko. I have been at Northeastern since 2006 as a graduate student. Graduated in 2010, and now I'm a shared entity between chemistry department and the pharmaceutical sciences. My name is Brian Pluff, and I'm currently a fifth year PhD student in the chemical engineering department here at Northeastern. I study under the advisement of Shashi Murthy, and I'm in the field of diagnostic microfluidics. Nanotechnology seems to be, as NIH defined it, as the molecular scale intervention for diagnosis and treatment of disease. Well, classically, nanotechnology or nanomaterials tend to work at the regime of less than 100 nanometers. So we're talking about about a billionth of a meter. So very, very small. And because they're so small, they have very unique properties. We are, in essence, at the forefront of uh, imaging for medical and clinical applications. What we would like to do is, with our imaging modality, is to determine exactly where uh, the skin cancer is. And only after we've determined the margins is there um, uh, does a surgeon actually cut? We're looking at non-invasive imaging techniques, basically Raman or infrared imaging, where you not only get the photograph or the snapshot of the cell, but also biochemically enhanced uh, chem chemical microenvironments of the cell and the subcellular organelles. If you can count the number of cells in a particular sample of blood, you'll be able to actually track the prognosis of a, of a patient or even see if a treatment is working and that will actually, the number will actually give you some sort of readout on what the actual, uh, if the treatment is working. The nanomaterials through the iGrow program is an interdisciplinary field just in the, in the nature that it works with nanomaterials. It seems that the best or one of the best things that have come out of um, me joining iGrow, which I am very grateful for is the amount of collaborations which I have been having. The iGERT program uh, allows you to meet uh, graduate students in other disciplines that you wouldn't normally interact with, which helps in expanding or broadening your um, research breadth and to find out if any of the other disciplines that you aren't necessarily expert in is applicable to my research. For my career aspirations, I want to work in the industry, and I know that Northeastern, through their co-op program, really has a lot of connections with many companies, not here just in Boston, but all throughout the world. Boston seems to be a very nice hub of those events, and an agglomerate of different uh, labs and fields and people who are very much interested in collaborating and progressing in the field of technology as a whole, in order to better human health and environment.